Maybe it's a bit different. But Jesus, you are here. God, you are here with us. Holy Spirit, fill us. It's amazing how simple images can connect with us. Familiar songs stir our hearts. Childhood memories. Maybe someone is missing. Maybe extra people are with us here today because of our faith in you. And so we come as your people of faith again this Christmas to rejoice, to behold, to remember and to give thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. So happy Christmas to you. Some familiar words from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 9. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Remember, this is the encounter with the shepherds. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be for all people. For there is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. Now the word behold appears around 1,527 times throughout Scripture. And us here this Christmas time, we cannot lose the art of beholding Fix your eyes on Jesus. In those storms and uncertain times, behold Him. Behold Him this Christmas day. A Saviour born to us. God remains focused and aware of our needs. God calls us to a deeper level of faith. To a deeper level this morning, more than just a baby in a manger, but let us unhold, let us behold him afresh today. Don't throw this year away, for it gives us a platform for God's glory to appear. O oh, hear the angel voices, O oh, night, O oh, holy night, when Christ was born, the carols ring out. Maybe it's an unexpected Christmas this year. People who you thought were going to join you cannot. Maybe others aren't with us anymore. Places you hope to travel to are now off limits. Maybe there are extra people at your table this Christmas time. Now our mate Joseph, he needed a bit of reassurance. Men, do we ever need a bit of reassurance? It's in Matthew 1, verse 19 to 23. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. I was thinking, that doesn't sound much better. Single mother with a baby. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Take Mary home as your wife. Because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. And she'll give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save people from their sins. You and I. All this took place to fulfill 
what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. God with us. God meeting us. God coming to us. Our Saviour is born. No doubt there was fear, anxiety, uncertainty for this young couple. Concerned about the future. Worried. They couldn't stay where they were. They had to travel to Bethlehem and be counted. But God's plans are always clear and His ways always come to pass. That picture in the stable, possibly even a cave out the back of the inn because there was no room. We love those nativity scenes, don't we? At carols by candlelight events or things that churches do this time of year or, or shared on social media. You know the cute children dressed up in a dressing gown and a tea towel. Amen. Angels, shepherds, some dressed up as animals, a wooden box filled with lovely, fresh, clean straw, Mary and Joseph standing there, children smiling, a cute little baby lying in a manger from a, a young couple that's just had a baby a few months ago. Oh, we'll use you, thank you very much. But the reality of giving birth in a stable, if we just stop for a moment, probably wasn't that great, ladies, amen. Not that I've ever done that. Dirty, smelly, dark, filled with uncertainty, darkness, pain. Quite an unexpected Christmas. No assurance about what was next. Exhaustion, fear, discomfort, suffering. Hardly the romantic backdrop for a Christmas carol evening or, or that beautiful nativity scene and take that photo and smile nicely and oh dear, your halo is slipping. And where's my child gone? Oh, yeah, over there eating the milk and cookies. It's not morning tea yet. They were alone. Feeling as though there was no place for them in their home, their community or their country. And she wrapped this child in, in cloths and she, she places him in that manger because there's no guest rooms available for them. Despite this year 2020 has been, or perhaps because of it, I think we have, have a greater glimpse of hope. We've managed to find renewed connection to our community and to one another. We've seen people respond to, to different circumstances, different needs, different concerns. We've ministered with kindness and compassion and love and care and grace. We've reached out beyond these walls. Maybe we've experienced being without hope one moment and then shared hope the next. It's an unexpected Christmas. Share the hope, share the joy of Jesus with us again this Christmas day. I read this the other day. If you look for me at Christmas, you won't need a special star. I'm no longer just in Bethlehem. I'm right there where you are. You may not be aware of me amid the celebrations, you have to look beyond the stories and all the decorations. But if you take a moment from your list of things to do and listen to your heart, you'll find I'm waiting there for you. If you're the one, you're the one I want to be with. You're the reason that I came. And you'll find me in the stillness as I'm whispering your name.
Merry Christmas, and God bless you.